so much have been said about antivirus signature. They don't work. It's a traditional technology. A lot of company nowadays use it as an anti-advertisement, like, hey, that's a, that's a traditional thing. It's an old stuff. We're new gen. We don't use antivirus signature. And by some reason, the antivirus signature actually is still one of the most effective way to detect malware. It's important to note that there is not just one thing called antivirus signatures. Antivirus signatures are very different depending on implementation and how exactly it works. But the underlying reason why antivirus signatures do work, maybe not all the time, maybe not ideally, but they do work, is because malware is a software. And software doesn't get completely rewritten every single day because that would be very expensive. Software has a cycle of develop. You develop the first version, you code review, you compile, you release, you develop an update which modifies uh, maybe 10, maybe 100, maybe 300 lines of code. You develop update and so on. Well, surprise, surprise, malware is developed exactly the same way. What does it mean for antivirus industry is that if the signature, either written manually or generated automatically, developed in the in a clever way, in a smart way, you can actually cover hundreds or even thousands of different variants of malware which belong to the same family. Because the evolution of that family is going to change some code, but it almost never changes the whole code of the whole malware at once. Of course, signatures have a limitation. You cannot detect a new, completely new malware family with the existing signature because you wouldn't be able to generate signature for that. However, if the family has already established itself, if the signature is written in a clever way, it can be a very effective tool. However, not all signatures are equal. And today we'll discuss what kind of signatures were used between 2000 and 2005, and why I believe they were still one of the most advanced type of signatures and traditional antiviruses who still have such type of signatures do have certain advantage over the products which never implemented such signatures at all. So let's jump into it. Before we start talking about the signatures and how they worked, let me rant one more time. No, file hash is not a signature. And the reason is file hash is such a horrible idea, especially cryptographic file hash. For the file detection is that Malware can simply be recompiled and the four bytes inside the header will change, which represents the timestamp of when the malware was compiled. Or malware can simply add a few bytes at the end of the binary and just randomize these few bytes and that would completely change the hash. Another way it can actually modify a few bytes at the end of some sections and because sections are aligned to a certain number of bytes on a disk it's uh, 200 hex. They're usually an empty space at the end of the section which you can modify without corrupting it. Those very very simple methods would completely destroy your ability to detect by file hash. So MD5, SHA1, SHA256 and continue any cryptographic hash is not an antivirus signature and it's horrible idea to use it for malware detection. It can be used for whitelisting or allow listing where you want to perfectly identify a known benign application and that's exactly where you would use the hash because you don't want to have any uncertainty if it's that file or not. You want to be 100% sure that that file, that's when you have a hash. A threat intelligence and threat hunting when you already know certain malware, for example, infected one of the machines inside your network and now you're searching were other machines in my network infected with exactly the same binary how many other users receive the same phishing email with the same exact attachment so i can understand the scale of potential infection that's when you use file hash you do not use file hash for malware detection okay i'm done ranting about it so let's jump into how exactly av signatures work 